Welcome to Sinai Adventures in Food, and we're back again with another food review. And we're back in the raw flat, and the wife is still here. And what do we have here today? Today we have something that's not new, but it's back, Bato. It's back. Who's back? The McRib is back, Bato's. Look at that mess, what they did. You know? Puro caldo. Mine is in here. Todo cubierto, but they put all kinds of barbecue sauce on that. But the McRib is back, and the wife just showed you her McRib. I'm excited because you know this thing only comes around once a year, like Santa Claus, Vatos. So, but this time it, it's the, the last time they're gonna have yeah, it. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it right now, huh, Mama? Can I, oh, wait. What? Can I eat? Oh, cochina, la sacaste. Ángate la de los bajo afuera, eh? It comes with onions and pickles and barbecue sauce. Even though on the app it says slivered onions, and if you guys don't know what slivered onions, they're fucking chopped like fine, like like pieces of paper. Oh, okay. So that's what it means. Yes, in my book, I think. And it comes in a like a on a bun with little sprinkles, whatever, and it's like sandpaper, like sandpaper. The feeling like sandpaper about those. I'm trying to, but let's do this. You ready? Mm, go ahead. I'm gonna put ketchup on my fries. That way, no. It's good. The pinche McRib, you know, it's not like. It's not like the best thing in the world, but it's good. It's bomb, Matos. It's bomb. What? You want a napkin? Yeah. To be honest, for me, I would need like three make ribs to get full. Just being honest, you know? And the wife's like, he ain't lying. You know what? I like the french fries with the make rib. Bomb. And try it. like the wife said, I don't know if it's a rumor. I think they posted it. This is like the last time the McRib is gonna come back. Once again, marketing battles. You know? Did they say that before or no? No, this is the first time. You know? So I think they seen Taco Bell with the Mexican pizza. It disappeared. Now it's back and it's gone. Now it's back forever. You know, like. Whatever, Matos. Whatever is gonna sell, that's good for you. But I'm gonna tell you guys, this is my, this might be the last time, allegedly, that you're gonna see the McRib Matos. So, McDonald's wants you to run like crazy to to McDonald's and order their shit. I'm surprised they have it. Exactly. We thought it was gonna be sold out, like you know, like the buckets, you like chinga, you know, because they, I think that was their, their intentions to sell out of the fucking McRib. It didn't happen, but at least not here, because we're out in the Monte right now. They have it, you know. I wasn't even gonna get this. You weren't up. No. But she said, "What if it never comes back and I never taste it?" Huh? It's good though, you like it? Yeah, it's good. That's a lot of extra barbecue sauce, so you don't gotta order a, a side of barbecue, you just dip your, your papas in it. And what did I, what'd you get me, babe? I don't even know what I got. Diet Dr. Pepper. So, it's delicious with the onions, it goes with it, you know? What'd you get your drink? I got limonada light. He said he tasted it at Disneyland, so I don't know. Mm hmm. So, we're enjoying a little lunch, brunch, because this is breakfast. We're, we're going to Sam's right now. We're going to Sam's Club, Vatos. I got lemonade light, you know? It's light on sugar. It's not 100% sugar-free, but it's light. It's delicious. It's not sweet. At Disneyland, they have this. I tasted it once. It, it's it's really good. Lemonade. It's lemonade light, Vatos. Like Bud Light, but lemon and light. <laughs> I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, babe. Pussy. I'm thirsty. But yeah. But I'm going to tell you about those. What? Now, McRib is coming back. Maybe not next year. So I'll probably throw it off longer. Or maybe it will come back next year. Every Oh, excuse me. Everyone does it come back. I think it's every every year. 
around or every time? six months. I don't even know what around what time to be honest. If you guys know, comment below. Let us know when the McRib comes back, vatos. You know, mm -hmm. but these, and I looked them up the other day. Hmm. Walmart used to carry that, the McRib patties. What, what brand? The banquet? No, it's not banquet. It was something core or something. I don't remember. We found them though. But on Walmart, it's just out of stock now. And they don't have them. You always, they always had them in the freezer section. The same ribs, vatos. You just got to put your own barbecue on them and your own pot and your own bread. They're amazing. I used to eat those like way back in the day, vato. I make my own McRib. Oh, that's weird. What? I can't really taste the onion in it. I don't know. It goes with it, huh? Yeah. It goes with it. It's not overpowering. I you know don't the like regular onion. Mm -mm. Regular onion. Like grilled. I don't like the, the little chopped or onions either from purple. from McDonald's. I always order it without. What is it? Purple onion or red onion? I think it's red. Oh, okay. But, but yeah, he doesn't like the chopped onions in the regular um, cheeseburgers. What mm -mm. do mean? He does not. They're like chopped it. up so fine and they throw a ching over it in there, you know? It's like, what the heck? Let me taste the onion. You know, mm -hmm. but I think if they they will throw whole onions, maybe you could add whole onions because you know you could you ask it however you want. No, and I'm sure people are gonna be you can fool. Didn't you see on the app that the quarter pounder with cheese has bacon? You're right. Or something like mm -hmm. that. Or something out of it's new. A double or it's a quarter pounder deluxe or something, but they add bacon. Now, my question is, I've never seen it. I just seen it the other day on the app. Maybe it's been around for a minute. Sorry about those. I don't pay attention. I don't and, and I want to try it. Huh? I don't think it's been around. I want to try it because the bacon on the app looks bomb. But if the bacon is a piece of paper, like the one you get with the deluxe oh, breakfast, no. vale madre. Mm -hmm. That shit is thin and see-through. You can grab the bacon, you can see through that motherfucker on the breakfast deluxe. Huh? It, it's horrible. But... You know, one of the pictures are nice in La China, so that's another review we gotta do. And they changed the carne, they changed the meat on the yeah. quarter pounder. It used to be bomb, now it's just like styrofoam, like a sponge. So, I don't know. But if the burger does look good, maybe. I don't think they changed the meat, they just added pickles and I'm whatever. I'm just really surprised McDonald's hasn't changed their fries. That's next. They won't do it. Everybody loves you. And then they'll do it? I don't know. I better nah. not. McDonald's has the best fries around. Sorry to say. Huh. They're there. They're addicting. I don't think there's no fast food joint out there that can beat McDonald's fries. I, I can see I can see myself tasting something better than McDonald's fries. So oh. what happened, baby? What about, oh, excuse me, the fries that we had over there at that burger spot? Or McDonald's fries? Yeah. They taste like this. Then if they took these out, we could eat those. And McDonald's will lose their fries, they'll lose business. McDonald's, the world's I most don't. wanted French fry. I don't want no more. That's a wire. No matter sandwich, eh? I don't want no more. That's why I love my wife, because she don't eat everything, and mm -hmm. I come to the rescue, eh? Very good. They put a lot, a lot of barbecue sauce on the white. They, yeah. Oh, they didn't put none on yours? A lot? Not a lot like yours, Ooh. but I'm going to tell you, I'm not a big barbecue fan on, cer on certain stuff, huh? Like this? Oh, weird, yeah. If it goes on it, cool, but. You guys, it's just like me with the cheese. When somebody said, we get you don't know, like cheese, but something, something, something. Dummy, he's the one that fucking got the cheese. That's why I was complaining. Anyways, it's just like that. He likes barbecue on certain things. But if you guys didn't see on Instagram, follow us. I bought her another burger and she was eating it and I ate it too, huh? Yeah, I offered him just a bite, which I don't care. I'm not stingy. Fine, he bit it off. He put the whole, almost the whole thing in his mouth. So I was like, okay, whatever. 
Mm -hmm. It just might be something else. But it didn't bug me. As I say, follow us on Instagram. Behind the scenes, about those, because I didn't make it on YouTube, huh? Yeah. But I posted it on Instagram, I believe. Yeah, as I was saying, they got a follow us on there. The white post a lot of shit on there that's not put on YouTube, and it's awesome. Yeah. So make sure you guys follow us, and there's we got two pages on. Yes. We got my personal one, and we got the SNL Adventures one. So go follow us about those. This shit was bomb. I ain't gonna lie, I'm still fucking hungry. But that's just me. Oh my god, you guys. Right now, Sans Club, fuck it. Eh? There's samples, eh? You he know? You can eat an extra large pizza by himself. No lie, guys. If it's I'm good, not, yeah. If it's good, yeah. I don't and know. Tacos, he could eat about 13 of them. I'm at 12 right now. It was 12. 12. I can eat 20 tacos. I told him to go to Jack in the Box and get a big bag of tacos. Just a big old bag and just eat them. And just eat them and see how many he could eat. And he said, I'm down, so. I'm on matos. You guys want me to eat a chingo of tacos, eh? Hey, provide for the cause, matos. You know what I mean? <coughs> and we'll get a taco review going. A chingo of tacos, eh? And so tacos come out of my nose and ears and shit, eh? But just tacos, babe? No, nothing else with it? Just tacos? Puros tacos, porque está oh. cabrón. Ah, oh, shit. But yeah, this is our McRib is back, but though, like Justin Timberlake, isn't he the one that says that shit? Oh, yeah, he says, I'm bringing sexy back. Oh, orale. Well, I like it when I show her my moves and shit. Eh? Well, this McDonald's brought McRib back. Burp over there. Oh, the puro pinche barbecue salió, oh, huh? Puro soul food and that. shit. Eh? I hate when he burps and then he doesn't blow it over there. Or he eats beans. And then he talks to me and tries to kiss. It's disgusting. And no. then los frijoles por abajo. Oh, God. Okay, babe. That's but anyway, vatos. Our McRib uh, review. Just to show you guys a word. farewell McRib. A la chingada. See you when you come back. Food, it was good, though. And I would get another one. Yeah. I really would. It's, it's really delicious. It's not nasty, but. But I'll just eat half of it. Not the and I'll eat the rest of it. Yeah. But anyways, this is our McRib review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Before we go, hit the like button. Comment below, share the channel, and subscribe. Look at my homie, Andre the Giant. Get the wiener. Oh. <laughs> Until the next review, about those, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh -huh.